There were more than a half a million cases of cardiac arrest in the U.S. last year, killing more than 300,000 Americans. But now a new emergency protocol being tested can significantly increase survival rates. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez with details on eCPR. It's the same walk Mark Bradford takes every day, but one September morning changed his life forever when he collapsed in sudden cardiac arrest. Next thing I remember is waking up in the uh, um, heart unit. Mark is alive today thanks to a new protocol being tested by the Columbus, Ohio EMS and the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. It starts when first responders are unable to shock a patient's heart back into rhythm. This will be an ECMO patient. That alert sets off a carefully planned chain of events that keeps a patient alive until their heart function can be restored. While medics connect a patient to an automated CPR machine in the ambulance, a team assembles at the hospital to prepare the cath lab. The patient bypasses the emergency room. Getting people directly to the cath lab is critically important because the more time we wait, the more damage is done to the heart, the more damage is done to all of your organs, including your brain. They're immediately connected to an ECMO machine that does the job of their heart and lungs. So we can rest the heart and the lungs and then work, in this case, work on the heart to try to get it restarted and beating well. This seamless process buys doctors time to try to fix what caused the cardiac arrest, a chance they didn't have before. So far, early results have already increased survival rates from zero to about 40 percent. Patients have a chance to walk out of a hospital with neurological recovery, having a meaningful life when essentially they would have been pronounced dead on the field. Mark was the first patient here to benefit from the protocol. Without that protocol, I, I wouldn't be alive. Remember, without this process, virtually all of the persistent cardiac arrest patients died in the field. With the positive results from this pilot program, experts hope the eCPR protocol will become standard practice across the country. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.